In this video, I will show you an example of Jenner diode clipper circuit. Here, I will show you how to calculate the output voltage, how to draw the output waveform and the transfer characteristics for this given network. This is our given network in which we are applying an alternating voltage of 20 volt, positive maximum and negative maximum is at minus 20 volt. In this circuit, we have this Jenner diode whose Jenner breakdown voltage Vz is equal to 6.2 volt and this series resistance is equal to 1 kilo ohm here we have to take the output voltage across this terminal to this terminal to solve this circuit at first we have to separate the region of vi for which the Jenner diode operates in forward bias non-conducting state or off state and in Jenner breakdown region See, this is the IV characteristics of Jenner diode. From the IV characteristics, it is evident that the Jenner diode will have three regions of operation when the applied forward voltage will be greater than built-in potential, the Jenner diode will be in forward bias. When the applied reverse voltage will be greater than the Vz, Jenner diode will operate in the Jenner breakdown region. Between the forward bias and the Jenner breakdown region, there is an intermediate state which is known as non-conducting state or off state of Jenner diode. Now I will show you how to indicate the forward bias voltage in case of VI, off state voltage in case of this VI and Jenner breakdown voltage in case of this VI. Consider the positive half cycle of the applied voltage. During positive half cycle, this terminal will be positive, this terminal will be negative. The negative terminal will be connected with the N side and positive terminal will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode. So, positive half cycle will put the Jenner diode in forward bias. And from the IV characteristics, we can see that as long as the applied voltage or forward voltage VI will be less than let's say 0 0.7 volt i will assume the built-in potential of the Jenner diode is 0 0.7 volt our Jenner diode will not conduct any current or Jenner diode will be in off state or non-conducting state so when vi will be greater than 0 0.7 volt the Jenner diode will be in forward bias so let's say i indicate that 0 0.7 volt with this dashed line i am talking about this region for this region our Jenner diode will be in forward bias for this region of the input voltage Jenner diode will be in off state Now consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage. This terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive. The positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode and negative terminal will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode. That means during negative half cycle, the Jenner diode will be in reverse bias. From the IV characteristics, we can see that as long as the applied reverse voltage is less than Jenner voltage, the Jenner diode will be in off state or non-conducting state. So let's say this is that minus 6.2 volt. If the applied input voltage VI is less than minus 6.2 volt, the Jenner diode will be in 
general breakdown region because we are applying a voltage greater than the general voltage Vz in case of this circuit. If the input voltage Vi is greater than 6.2 minus 6.2 volt, that means I am talking about this portion of the applied voltage. The general diode will be in non-conducting state or in off state. So here we can indicate the three different regions of applied voltage from 0 0.7 to minus 6.2 volt the general diode will be in off state input voltage greater than 0 0.7 volt general diode will be in forward bias and input voltage vi less than minus 6.2 volt the general diode will operate in the general breakdown region so this is our input voltage in which i have indicated the different bias regions of general diode now see if i talk about this region of the applied voltage vi will be greater than 0 0.7 volt in this region in that case the general diode will be in forward bias and when a general diode is in forward bias we can replace the general diode with its constant voltage drop model or a voltage source of 0 0.7 volt if i replace the general diode with its constant voltage drop model i will get a circuit like this now see if i consider this point that means when vi will be equal to 0 0.7 volt in that case this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative you will see the polarity of the applied voltage vi and the built-in potential vk are in opposite direction that means at this point when vi will be equal to 0 0.7 volt at this point or at this point in the circuit the applied voltage will be equal to zero because this input voltage will get neutralized by this built-in potential as a result the current in the circuit at that condition will be equal to zero which will give us output voltage vo equal to i r l equal to zero when input voltage vi will be exactly equal to 0 0.7 volt that means at this point and at this point our output will be equal to zero let's say i indicated those two points here okay so initially i will not get any output voltage now see in this region that means when vi will be greater than 0 0.7 volt our input is changing sinusoidally as we have resistor in the circuit the current i in this region vi greater than 0 0.7 volt region will be sinusoidal because sinusoidal voltage creates sinusoidal current as current will be sinusoidal you will see our output voltage vo will be equal to irl that will also be a sinusoidal current so i can say that when vi will be greater than 0 0.7 volt our vo will change sinusoidally now what will be the maximum value of the output voltage when vi is at its positive maximum when vi is equal to 20 volt i can easily calculate output voltage by cal i can easily calculate the maximum value of the output voltage by applying kvl in this loop if i apply kvl i will get input voltage maximum plus 20 minus 0 0.7 minus vo equal to 0 which will give us positive maximum output voltage equal to 19.3 volt when this input will be at its positive maximum at 20 volt output will be at 19.3 volt let's say this is that 19.3 volt and we will get sinusoidal output during this positive half cycle initially there will be no current flow up to 0 0.7 volt after that we will get sinusoidal current if i join these three points i will get an waveform like this now consider this portion of the applied voltage
that means I am talking about input voltage VI between minus 6.2 volt to 0 0.7 volt in this region our diode will be in non-conducting state or in off state as the diode will not conduct any current we can replace the general diode with an open circuit if I replace the general diode with an open circuit I will get a circuit like this now see in the circuit current I will be equal to zero as the current I will be equal to zero our output voltage VO is equal to IRL therefore our output voltage VO is equal to IRL that will be equal to zero in this region so from this point to this point I will not get any current from zero to 0 0.7 I will not get any current so output voltage will be equal to zero see from this point to this point our output voltage should be equal to zero from this point to this point our output voltage will be equal to zero now consider this portion of the applied voltage when vi will be less than minus 6.2 volt if vi becomes less than minus 6.2 volt our general diode will operate in general breakdown region when the general diode will be in general breakdown region the general diode will act as a voltage regulator so we can replace it so we can replace this general diode with its general voltage of 6.2 volt so if I replace the general diode with corresponding equivalent circuit during the general breakdown region I will get a circuit like this now see in this circuit input voltage is changing sinusoidally in this region as VI will be sinusoidal we have resistance RL in the circuit so created current will be sinusoidal therefore our VO in this region will be sinusoidal now what will be the minimum value or negative maximum value of the sinusoidal output voltage here let's say when VI will be at its negative maximum or if I consider this point when VI is at minus 20 volt I can calculate the negative maximum of the output voltage by applying KVL in the circuit if I apply KVL in the circuit I will get minus 20 plus 6.2 minus VO equal to 0 so here VO max and this will be negative maximum so I will indicate minus VO max will be equal to minus 13.8 volt so at this point our input is at its negative maximum so our output will have a value of minus 13.8 here it is 19.3 and here it will be 13.8 and our output will change sinusoidally in this region so i will get an waveform like this so up to this point this will be our complete waveform complete output waveform and you will see the clear view of the output waveform in the simulation now i will show you how to draw the transfer characteristics of the given clipper circuit at first i will establish a mathematical relation between input and output voltage see for VI greater than 0 0.7 volt our output was changing linearly with the input voltage so I can say that VO is equal to VI but the maximum value of output voltage VO was equal to 19.3 volt from 0 0.7 to minus 6.2 volt our output voltage was equal to 0 and for VI less than minus 6.2 volt that means if I talk about this region our output was changing linearly with input voltage VI but the negative maximum of the output voltage was equal to minus 13.8 volt so VO is equal to VI that means it is a linear relation
transfer characteristics is the relation between output and input voltage we will take the output in the y axis and input at the x axis let's say this is plus 0 0.7 point and this is minus 6.2 volt when vi is greater than 0 0.7 volt output was changing sinusoidally that means output was changing linearly with the input voltage and the positive maximum of the output voltage was equal to 19.3 volt from minus 6 to 0 0.7 volt output was equal to 0 from minus 6.2 to minus 20 volt output was changing linearly or sinusoidally with the input voltage so our output will be linear our output will be in linear relationship with the input voltage with negative maximum at its minus 13.8 volt. So this will be the transfer characteristics of the given clipper circuit. This is our circuit in the simulator. If I run the simulation, I will get input and output waveform like this. As long as the input voltage Vi will be less than the built-in potential during positive power cycle, we will not get any output voltage. After that, we will get the output voltage, but the magnitude of the output voltage will be slightly lower than the input voltage and the difference between the input and output voltage will be equal to the built-in potential of the diode. Now see, if I consider the positive maximum of the input voltage, when the input is around, what is that, plus 20 volt. Let's say here it is 19.920 volt. We will get output voltage around 19.3 volt. Okay. And during positive half cycle, output is following the input voltage. During the negative half cycle, initially we will not get any output voltage. Okay. See, up to this point, we will not get any output voltage. After that, we will get output voltage which will be sinusoidal. Now, see when the input will be at its negative maximum minus 19.93 volt, output will be around minus 7 minus 13.74 volt that means when the input will be at its negative maximum our output will be around this value from this point to this point we will not get any output voltage okay 